In the before class, we learned the profile and the constraint toolbars. Means from the profile toolbar, we are making the profile of an object. After that, we are making the constraint the diagram according to our dimensions, according to our required dimensions and shapes. Right now, this is the last um, toolbar in the sketcher we are dealing. This is called as the operation toolbar. In the operation toolbar, what we are doing means after making the diagram, what we require means so we require some necessary modifications. Example, suppose right now on that day, I am by drawing a rectangle. I said that it is just a shape of a rectangle, uh, it's a shape of a monitor. Okay, in the monitor, the corners I have the sh there is no sharp edges. Here we have a smooth edges. To make a smooth edges, we have the operations such as the chamfer, fillet. Some words if you want to remove the uh, some portion, you can remove trim option if you want a number of operations like this one you are using the uh, rotate translator operations are there so like this one we can make it necessary modifications okay the modifications are done by the operations toolbar okay in the operations toolbar first tool it is called as a corner corner is the f uh, it's just like an fillet we are making the um, two corner two edges suppose if there is a sharp uh, corner here so in this corner we have to make a smooth edge select the corner option and select the two lines where you want where you want a smooth so smooth edge okay smooth corner okay select the corner and for double, double click you can use that option as a multiple times so like this one we can make any two lines as a in corner so you can make it a smooth corner okay not only in a rectangle we should if we can make suppose if there is a two rectangle two lines like this one it may be in a not a 90 degrees it may be any at any angle if you want to make this between these two lines um, these two lines also we can make the smooth corner it is not necessary that is these two lines should be a perpendicular only okay like this one we can make a smooth corner between a two lines as well as the corner option can we make not only and between your lines also it can make between your two circles also we can make a smooth corner also option we can make between the two circles also let us see suppose if you draw a two rectangles mm, two circles sorry after drawing two circles we can make if you want to make a smooth corner between the two circles then select the corner option and select the two circles then you will get a smooth corner between your two circles this is called you can call as a smooth corner and we can make like this one also this is the option you can make like this also okay the corner is the option which we are using the where the sharp edges are there as well as we can use the corner between two circles as well as if two lines are there then where is the corner is a sharp like like this is a sharp corner in the sharp corner if you want we can make the corner option and next operation is uh, there is the chamfer chamfer is the thing but it's making a beveled edge whereas in the fillet what, corner what happened we are getting a smooth edge with radius but here we are getting the corners are the chamfer means it's like a beveled edge shaped let's see for this rectangle there is a co smooth corner uh, sharp edge sorry here, here so this edges co this sharp corners we can make it as a not any sharp corners we can regulate the sharp corner by making the chamfer or, uh, <coughs> So for our corner operation, so, so right in before what we did, we did the uh, corner operation. We right now we are making the chamfer operation. Okay, like this one, we can make the select the two lines, and here we will get in the beveled edge. Means the right now the edge is inclined. And previously what it is, it is in a sharp, it is perpendicular. Right now it is a beveled. Means it is inclined. It makes an incline. Like this one, we can make a chamfer operation. Okay, and the next operation in this one is called as the relamination tools, relimitation tools. So relimitation tools, relimitation tools is nothing but what is the meaning of relimitation? Limitation is nothing but we are making the object to certain extent only. Okay, let me see what is how we can make a certain extent. What are the operations we can do? And the first tool in this one relimitation is a trim. Trim is nothing but we are trimming the objects. Let's see. Suppose if if I draw an object like this one. Okay, I want to uh, rectangle. I want to triangle by using this object, but this I didn't want the required portion, uh, extra portion of these two lines. So I want to relate the this extra portion. Then what I should do means select the trim option and which portion, which portion, which side required? I required these two sides. An extension. I didn't require these two extensions. See, right now the extended part is removed. Suppose if you selected the opposite direction, means right now the I required portion is these two these two parts. But if I suppose in fact opposite direction, what will happen means the opposite directions are selected and the extended of the two lines will be removed. So then we should while while selecting we should select the carefully. How we select the carefully means select the object and which direction you required in this door these door directions are required. Okay, in this door directions are required. The extension of this two object that can be removed like this one we can make the 
trim operation and the next operation is uh, that is called as a break break is nothing but suppose if there is a line like this one i am drawing the one line on the this line this object only okay right now this object is a single entity this object is a single entity this object is a single entity but i what i want to make means i want to break this line into two parts how we can make the line these two parts means by using this as a cutting edge okay the by using this cutting edge i want to break this line into two parts okay select the break and which line you want to break i want to break the, this line and by using which line by using this line okay so right now the line is break see right now this is a separate line this is a separate line it's not the, the these two lines are separate separate entities right now one more time right now i want to break this line suppose if suppose if you want i want to break this line only by using the cutting edge this one okay select the break operation and select the which line you want to break this uh, this line by using the uh, tool this is a tool so right now this is a separate line and this is a single entity this is a single entity like this one you can make the break operation and the next one operation is we are mostly in the using the trim real limitations is a quick trim quick trim means we can directly remove the uh, object um, extend extra material suppose right now in this object i didn't require the middle portion this is a middle portion i didn't require and select the middle portion part then the object automatically middle portion is removed suppose if i didn't require this portion select that one if i didn't require separate this portion okay okay like this one you can remove the extend uh, any portion suppose if i drawing a one more rectangle like this one okay i drawing a one more rectangle like this one okay in this rectangle right now i want to make this object to closed means right now this object completely single entity should not be uh, not single entity so what i should do means that right now i require the only boundary shape i didn't require the inner objects so right now i am directly deleting the operation uh, to inner area see right now i want to delete this also why because it is also one boundary it also a separate boundary see right now the object is single it's closed completely closed like this one you can use mostly is the is a quick trim and next one is is a call as a close close is nothing but suppose if you draw an arc the arc is an opened part i want to close the opened arc this day in this conditions we are using the close operation so right now this arc is open i want to close this operation okay select the close operation close operation and select the arc then the arc is automatically closed this is called as an close option we are not mostly used but it may be used in the circum certain circumstances okay select the close operation and select the arc then it automatically closed and next one is a complementary what is a complementary complement okay complement is nothing but suppose if you take the arc only okay if we close what will happen we are getting the separate portion okay that is a, that is we call as a complement means i require the only the complementary of the arc but i didn't require this portion select let me see select the complement and select the arc then what will happen means by lifting the portion what we given drawn na before uh, the extra portion will be created by by lifting the what we drawn in the real diagram okay see one more time i am drawing the sr and selecting the arc then what happening means the re, the um, extended portion of this arc will be created and the original will be deleted it is called as a complement right okay the, and next one the the next or next uh, operation in the tool operation next operation in the tool, operation tool bar is that is the transformations the meaning of the transformation what is the meaning of transformations okay the transformation is nothing but the motion moving okay moving means what we are moving how we are moving let us see okay so in the operation tool bar next operations we are using as a transformations what is mean by transformation how we are making the transformations what is meaning of transformation transformation is nothing but the moving what we are moving let us see in the transformation tool bar first operation is is called as the mirror mirror means suppose if i draw a rectangle here if i draw a rectangle here what i want means i want to move this ob this object to this side means i want to make a mirror copy of a object okay so select the object and select the mirror right now we want to make a mirror na by making the mirror we between this we, this we require a axis why because what is the distance from the uh, real object and the axis is the same distance from the mirrored copy object and as for the axis okay right now i selected this is axis see right now this object is moved to this one na but it's not moved it's make a mirrored copy means is already created one more copy suppose i want to both these two objects into the down side then select the object and select the mirror and selecting this is the axis 
ओके राइट नाउ दिस ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिजिनल ऑब्जेक्ट इज व्हाट इज डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द ओरिजिनल सेम डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द ओरिजिनल टू डुप्लीकेट ऑब्जेक्ट व्हाट वी क्रिएटेड ओके दिस इज कॉल्ड एज अ मिरर इन द मिरर ऑपरेशन इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी सी वी शुड सेलेक्ट ओनली द वी शुड सेलेक्ट ओनली द एक्सिस ओनली सपोज इफ यू वांट टू सेलेक्ट आई वांट टू टेक द एक्सिस एज अ आई वांट टू मेक द मिररड मिरर बाय दिस पोर्शन बाय यूजिंग दिस इज द एक्सिस बाय कंसीडरिंग दिस इज एक्सिस सी राइट नाउ इट्स क्रिएटेड ओके लाइक दिस वन वी कैन मेक द मिरर्ड कॉपीज ओके मीन्स राइट नाउ वॉट इज मिरर्ड मीन्स मूविंग मैथ इट्स मूविंग बट मेकिंग ए मिरर्ड कॉपी लाइक दिस वन वी कैन मेक द रेड कॉपी एंड नेक्स्ट ऑपरेशन इन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन टू बट इज अ सीमेंट्री सीमेंट्री इज नथिंग बट इन मिरर वॉट हैपनिंग इन मिरर द वन मोर ऑब्जेक्ट इज क्रिएटिंग बट इन द सीमेंट्री वॉट विल हैपन मीन्स द ऑब्जेक्ट इज कंप्लीटली मूविंग दैट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द दैट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द मिरर्ड एंड द सीमेंट्री I am selecting the symmetry. I am selecting the axis. Right now, the object is moved. In the previously, what happened in the mirror? The object is copied. But in the mirror, what happened? The object is moving. This is called as a symmetry. Symmetry, nothing but the same. The same object is moving in the same another direction. Like when this, like this one, we can make the symmetry operation. And next operation in this transformation toolbar is called as the translate. Translate is the thing just like an in an array. In AutoCAD, we say let an array, na means we are creating multiple copies in a straight line. Okay, this is a translate. The word of translate is nothing but a straight the meaning. Okay, suppose if there is a rectangle like this one. Okay, I draw a rectangle and I am making the constraint in the rectangle. This is the dimensions of the rectangle. Okay, and the rectangle dimensions are one is two and another one is the three. Okay, so this is a rectangle dimensions. I want this type of rectangles in multiple limits. So if I uh, in this direction, I required five rectangles, the same shape of rectangles. Okay, so just like an array operation in the toolbar. But in an opera in an array, what we have, we have two types of arrays. One is the rectangle array and the polar array. Translate is used to make a rectangle array. Okay, select the object which you want to make an a translate operation and select the translate operation in the rectangle array. We show the Compulsory should be the base point means uh, what is distance between from one object one object to the other object. I am choosing this is the base point, and here I am asking the instances means how many instances means how many objects we require. Suppose I require an instance of five instances, and what is the distance between the one object and another object? Right now I am selected this is as the base point. So from this one what is distance? It should be greater than three. Okay. So what is I am taking as a five, and okay. Right now, it's created the five, but straight means it may be straight in this direction, in this direction, in this direction. So, in this, in which direction you require? Suppose I require in this direction. Then select the by clicking this one. Then the rectangles are created in this direction. Five rectangles is created. Suppose these five rectangles I create. I want to require in a vertical line. What you should do? Select the all the rectangles. I'll select the translate operation and select the base point. And show in this direction required. In this direction required. How many instances are required? Suppose I required ten instances. And what is the length between one object and one object? In vertically, the length is two. Means the distance should be greater than ten, uh, three. So I will give in, um, two. So in which direction required? I required in this direction. Okay. Like this one, we can make the multiple copies of the object. It is called as just like a rectangular array. Okay. And the next operation in the Mm, transformation toolbar it is called as the rotate. Rotate is less like any polar array in the mm, polar array in the uh, polar array in the array operation. Okay. Suppose if I have any just like any I am drawing a small arrow mark shape. Okay. I am drawing a arrow mark. This less like this is an arrow mark shape. Okay. This is an arrow mark. I want. I am making an arrow mark shape. Okay, and the middle portion I didn't require. No, so what I can do? I use a quick trim operation. Okay, by using quick trim, we can remove the extension part. Okay, see. Right now, I require the arrays into the. In, uh, I want to make copies in an angularly. Means I want to make the rest like an polar array. Okay, how to make a polar array? Select the object which you want to make an array. And select the rotate operation. In this also, we should say, if we want to make the uh, copies and uh, circular limits, we should show the center of the circle. 
okay this is the center of circle and how many instances are required suppose i required it 12 instances and here it asking angle is nothing but so what is the uh, uh, angle between the one object and the another object so right now i required a 12 instances means by by adding the original object also it may be 13 so th 360 by 13 see right now the arrays are created by the this center point and the object uh, center point and the complete instances are right now 13 instances what is the angle between the one object and another object is 360 by 13 this is the angle between one object and another object like this one we can make the rotate operation in the rotation operation also it's not necessary that we should choose compulsory the only um, should compulsory choose the uh, axis point on you can choose the any operation also suppose I am selecting the all objects and select the rotating option and I am choosing them this is the base point and how many instances same instances are required I am giving the three six suppose if I required only the three three instances right now by combine uh, three instances means four instances will be created 360 by four See, by the center point of this one the call objects all the same cycles are created like this one okay this is the polar operation um, polar array just like in a uh, array tool in autocad okay and and right now i'm ch i'm uh, uh, i'm comparing the autocad for every option I am combining AutoCAD. Why? Because AutoCAD is just like an ABCD drawing. Means we just is a basic step for a designing. Okay. So that we are comparing every object every option in the operation with the AutoCAD. Okay. And the next operation in this op transformation toolbar is the offset. Offset is nothing but suppose if there is one line. I want the same line uh, in this direction at any distance away. Okay, select the offset and select the object in which direction you require in this direction I require. What is the distance from the one object and the other object? Sorry, 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 sorry. It is the operation of scale. I forgot it. Okay, it is the operation scale. Scale is nothing but suppose if I drawing a circle. If I draw a circle. Okay, the diameter of circle is take it as a 10. Okay, the diameter of the circle is a 10 then suppose what if one person is said that I want to increase the circle uh, circle shape in the circle dimension to two times means I want to make the dimension to double double time okay suppose it's 10 it's you can exactly calculate it will be 20 suppose if I make it 22.5 it is a diameter of 22.5 I didn't know the what is the dimension of the double if you make it so directly you can make the circle to double okay select the circle which you want to make the double means this is scaling select the scale operation and show show the base point means from the base point it doesn't move okay how many times you want to make the double i want to make it to two times see next one what is the diameter of the du double circle is a 45 diameter but the thing is that what happened here one more circle is created okay from the original circle there is another circle is created suppose if i want only the uh, i want this circle only i want to make the double i didn't want to make i want didn't want another circle Okay, select the circle and select the scale operation and select the base point. Here he will have the on option select the base point and so here we have the option is duplicate mode. Means we should remove the duplicate mode. Means we didn't require the one more duplicate mode, one more object. Okay, so the same object will be ch change it uh, scale to two times. Suppose what is uh, one more person is say that I want to I didn't require this is the dimension of the circle. I want quarter part of the circle. Means I didn't uh, what is the dimension right now if I given I require quarter part of the, the circle. Means what is quarter dimension? Okay. Select the circle and select the scale operation and select the base point. Okay. Here what he what is say if you win two times then you are given the two times. If you want the quarter part of the circle means Create consider circle is completely one and what is the required we required quarter part means one by fourth part means then we will automatically get the 11.25 right now in previously I given 22.5 means in 22.5 means half of the quarter half of the part is 11.25 like this one you can make the object to the scaling means like this scale operation and next operation is, is called as the offset offset is nothing but we are required the same uh, same object but a certain dis set where this but distance should be um, the object should be a certain distance okay select the offset of ob offset operation and select the object which you want the transfer uh, object so this is the object I required in this direction what is the di distance between one object and another object it is a seven distance suppose if you want it 10 distance um, 
Train distance away from the original object. Like this one, you can edit the constraint and you can get it. It is the same in a uh, lines, but if you get into the circles, what will happen means here the um, right now these two lines are have the same shape. But we get when we getting into the offset between the circles, what will happen? The shape of the circle is same, but the thing is the dimension of the circle will be changed. Okay. See one more time. What we do? Select the circle which you want to make a half offset in a certain distance. We have one more circle, but the thing is that here we are getting the shape of the circle. So select the circle and in which direction you require? Suppose if you require inner direction, outward, outer direction, you can select the outer direction. Suppose if I require the circle in the inner direction, then select the uh, circle. After that, select the offset operation and select the in which direction is required so right now see this is the original circle diameter is 11.25 suppose if i make the offset outer offset is the i make in the 5 means what is the diameter of outer circle the diameter of outer circle is the 21.25 suppose if i give the dimension from the inner circle uh, offset it is suppose i am giving the value of 2 then what is diameter of inner circle it is the diameter of the Uh, 11.25 minus 4. That is the 8.25. No, that is 7.25. This is diameter means here the thing is that in the here we didn't change the length, but here we are getting the change in the dimension of the object. Okay. So right now we completed the sketcher model. In sketcher model, what we did, we will deal the first of all we are drawing the profile of the rough uh, geometry. After that we are making the constraints. After making the constraints, we require some small small modifications. That is, we can call as the operations right now. What we did in the today, okay? Right now we did the operation. In this uh, in sketcher we have some more operations, um, some more important things which will be mostly used in the uh, very very big geometries. Let me see. This is the only main operation tool. Suppose there is a circle like this one. If you getting into some exercises, what will happen means if there is a circle like this one, okay? One more time. Here there is a circle like this one. Okay, uh, we if you see the diagrams, there is a circle. On the circle, there is a circles. There is a small circles. Okay, the circles are placed on circle round around it. Okay, what we can do? We can using by well, we can make the circles multiple copies. Select the circle and if you use rotate operation and select the base point of the circle means which is uh, by using center point we are rotating the operations so i require the 12 objects and what is the 12 objects and what is the dish angle between is 360 by 30 by combining the original okay right now see so this is the diagram actually if you see the diagram it's clear but the thing here the important thing is that we didn't require this type of the circle we didn't require the the circle but the important thing is that we required the where is the circle means where is the circle where is the circle means on the diameter of this circle only means here we didn't require this the circle we required only these circles but to say that where the circles are there means by using the this circle diameter we are this circle is away from the origin this one so in this happens what will happen is this is the original what what is the required geometry we required these circles we didn't require the these circles so what we should do means by using the circle only we create the circles now so by like this one we should make this object into the reference components or construction components okay so this is the construction element by using the construction circle only right now we created the the circles how to make the circle to construction means in the sketch tools in sketch tools here we have third option this is called as the construction element okay select the circle which you want to make the construction element and select the construction then the circle is automatically Convert it into the circle operation. Suppose if I want to make this convert the circle uh, construction operation construction to circle to the this circle I want to make construction. Okay, like this one which we we can uh, means right now by seeing the diagram what we can understand that these are the main circles and these are the um, this circle and this circle are the just we are using reference purpose. Okay, like this one we can make the convert the objects into the this one. Suppose if you want to make this object is original object means really this is it is included in diagram. Then what we should do? Select the circle and right now de-highlight the construction. Then the object is converted into the real object. Okay. So like this one, we can make it. What we are making? What is the importance of this one? Means it is not included in the diagram. But the thing is that uh, it is by using the circle only we created the another circles. That is the very very important thing. Suppose select the object, remove the construction means. Then the construction is removed. Suppose if select the object and select the construction, then the object is make it into construction. Okay, it is very very mostly used in this one. It's not only in the circle operation. You can in the in the line operation also we are making this one. So right now uh, the construction is on so that it's automatically created. So suppose here we have an equidistant points. 
we have an equidistant operation now in the equidistant operation what, what is there means on the line i want to place the points uh, at a distance of uh, i want to divide this line into five parts suppose i want to five parts means i want to uh, i want to give the four points so by using the four points what i mean right now the line is divided into the five parts but in this one what we require i required only the line was divided in line should be divided into the four parts i didn't five parts i didn't require points then what you should do select all the points and select the construction right now the points are converted into the construction here the right now lines are the uh, the points are converted into construction the where the line is partly divided just for the visibility purpose only it will be used okay so this is the operations which we are using the sketcher okay right now we'll while well, right now we'll learn the all the operation um, all the toolbars in the sketcher by using the all these sketch tools right now we will try to we will make the some, some small objects some exercises we will deal okay